Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Saturday, I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. We are building in Henford on Bagley today and it's been a minute since I've built in this stunning, stunning world. It's been well over a year, well over a year. So this is long overdue. I did use a reference image from Pinterest, which I'll put on screen for you now as, as like a, a guideline for this house. I stuck to it pretty rigidly, to be fair. <laughs> it, um, it was beautiful. I came across it this morning and I initially thought I was gonna be doing either an apartment build today or a house for the not so berry challenge however i tried to do a house for the not so berry challenge in strangerville and it just didn't come to fruition so i found this image on pinterest and i was like i have to try this i just have to try it and so this is what we ended up coming up with i i adore this house i had an absolute blast building this house i was it was just it's got like this extremely like cozy sort of vibe and i just I just really really like it so I really hope you guys do too. But as you can see we are currently working on the exterior structure here. Now as you can probably tell from the the title, the thumbnail and sort of like the, the way that it's already going, it is rather overgrown and that's definitely the vibe that I wanted to go for with this house. I wanted it to be a little bit unkempt on the outside but trimmed you know so it's, it's well cared for but it's a little bit wild too. It's, it's very colorful. And I had in mind that a grandmother lives here either by herself or with her two grandchildren. Um, and what I mean by that is either the grandmother lives here by herself and the grandkids come and spend X amount of time with her, whether that be, you know, a couple of times a week or um, in the summertime, whatever. Or if you want to play out the storyline that the grandmother is raising the grandkids, then this is an absolutely ideal house to be able to do that because it is two bedrooms and one bathroom. The first bedroom is designed for the grandmother and then the second bedroom has a bunk bed for the kids. So I, I just thought it's not really a family dynamic that I've ever really played around with too much. So I thought it's super refreshing for me. I haven't built in Henford on Bagley for ages and it just sparked this creative something in me today so i'm super excited to be able to share this with you so you will have to let me know what you think in the comments down below now a little bit off topic <laughs> i am fully aware that we are about to enter the month of june so we are about to enter or have already entered summer um summer is not my <laughs> it's not my favorite um season at all the only thing that's getting me through this is that the next season coming along is autumn my favorite season of all time. So the reason I'm mentioning this is because I'm currently sat in my office and I am warm. <laughs> I am super warm today. For some reason, I mean, everywhere around me sort of saying we're, we're around about 22 degrees centigrade, which isn't super hot, but I am warm. I am so warm today. So <laughs> I'm already thinking about autumn, already thinking about like cooler weather and pumpkins and Halloween and then winter and dare I say the C word Christmas. <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't like summer, but it's definitely my least favorite season of the fall. So yes, I'm, I'm, um, I'm very warm today. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of glad that this voiceover is slightly shorter than perhaps like half an hour or, you know, 40 minutes. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so as you can see, the house is already taking shape. So you can kind of see the vibe that we're already going for here. I used a lot of items, of course, from Cottage Living, which I, I don't tend to play with too much when I'm not building in Henford on Bagley. There's, there's a few items that I gravitate towards um, when I'm not building in this world. But generally speaking, if I'm building in Henford on Bagley, I do gravitate towards the items that came with this pack. I cannot believe, can anyone else believe that it, it's been two years since Cottage Living came out? It, two whole years. How has that even happened? I have no idea. Like I remember when I got early access to Cottage Living and I was putting out all these cottages and I, that seems like yesterday. It's so bizarre how time is passing us by at the moment and I'm going on another tangent <laughs> yet again but anyway I did decide to add this lovely um, brick wall from the debug menu from Cottage Living because in the reference image if you can remember 
there was like a stone wall and it was it was kind of covered in foliage and flowers some flowers grass and i thought i definitely need to include this in this lot because it's quite unusual for me to actually outline a lot and the reason for that is i feel like sometimes depending it depends where the lot is and what world it's in now i'm going to explain <laughs> of course i am so sometimes i think when you outline a lot it, it kind of segregates the lot from the rest of the world and it makes it look a little bit too obvious is possibly the word that i would use whereas here i thought it worked quite well because the last thing you want is if you if you are living on like the top of this hill let's call it a hill it's right next to a waterfall i mean i cannot even begin to imagine what this what living here would look like or feel like because it's beautiful but the last thing you want is to be exposed so you need some sort of fencing up so that was my that was my thought process with this <laughs> and the floor plan came together relatively quickly because the house itself isn't super big um, and then i was thinking not to make an open plan kitchen living area because for older english cottages particularly this is not something that i think would even be a thing but I couldn't think of another way to do it unfortunately and managed to fit everything in so we're just gonna have to put that to one side for a second I am fully aware that this is not super realistic but that's not necessarily the vibe I was going for anyway the interior turned out really really well the items are like kind of mismatched and vibrant and just full of life like this house has a story to tell and i love that about this house i love doing that with my builds i have spoken about this before on the channel where i i love telling stories through builds in the sims because at the end of the day if you're telling a story with your sims a really important element of that is where they live where they sleep where they eat where they hang out either by themselves or with family it's a representation and extension of the sims that are living here so that's why i think it's super important to include fam different family dynamics and such as this so like i was saying at the beginning this is a, for a grandmother and her two grandchildren whether they live with her full time or not that's entirely up to you perhaps the kids just come over like i said at the beginning for the summer holidays or whatever but that was the vibe that I had and the family dynamic that I had in mind while I was building this house. So all throughout the process, I was thinking, okay, like kind of stereotypical grandmother. <laughs> and I think this house fits that bill so, so well. And I, I cannot even begin to explain how much fun I had with this house. And this is completely random. And, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it because like we're all comfortable here, <laughs> but i asked my husband to um he was going to the shop anyway i didn't ask him specifically to go to the shop for this but he's going to the shop anyway and i said i really want some i would really like sorry some mint choc chip ice cream because it's been a hot minute since i've had some mint choc chip ice cream so while i was building i think i started eating the ice cream when i started the kitchen and i'm just sat eating mint choc chip ice cream i'm vibing i'm listening to the sims 2 music and i'm just building and i'm like i'm having the best time right now <laughs> that is what this is all about that's what the sims is all about and i feel like i've been missing that spark for i would say around a month or two and it, and, and it's not stopped me from producing content or anything like that but i have definitely definitely struggled lately with build ideas or video ideas and sometimes all you need to do is take a step back for a minute and think right i can do this I just need a spark of inspiration and then i came across this picture on pinterest and i was like the spark is ignited it is here <laughs> so i'm super excited i do have today tomorrow and then monday off because it's a bank holiday in england and i don't normally get bank holidays off work but i did request this one so um yay for me so I do have plenty of time to get some video preparation done. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna to film an apartment build, then Monday I'm gonna film an on-camera video, and then I'll just obviously put those out throughout the week. And then I've also taken a bit of a dabble into doing YouTube shorts and TikToks, Instagram reels, because I'm trying something, I'm trying something, okay? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I'm having fun kind of clipping down 
the the full version of the video into like a video for TikTok or YouTube Shorts. And I'm thinking it re if it reaches like a slightly different audience because I know my husband is is, is obsessed with YouTube Shorts, <laughs> and then I I go on TikTok for the the shorter videos. So I'm hoping it reaches a, a wider audience. Anyway again going off on a tangent but i was surprised absolutely not the kitchen turned out really really well <laughs> as i digress the kitchen turned out really really well i love the vibe i think it fits beautifully with the house itself again you can see there's a lot of items from cottage living coming in here the curtains are from cats and dogs i think they fit absolutely perfectly with this house i was struggling because i was kind of disappointed with the curtains but we didn't get any curtains with cottage living we got the, like this blind and then like some um what i would put in the kitchen they're not blinds they just like go over half the window i was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get any curtains with cottage living so it's really really it's a really good thing that cats and dogs came with curtains that fit really really well with this build and other cottages that i have done in the past uh, <laughs> anyway this is grandma's room so this room is a really really awkward and difficult shape and size but because i was thinking that grandma either lives here by herself or with her grandkids she doesn't necessarily have a partner i figured putting the bed up against the wall wasn't too big a deal but if you do have two sims um, two adult sims living here then i believe now the sims shuffle over if the bed's against the wall i could be wrong but um i i have read that i haven't tested it out myself but i have read it <laughs> so um, my story in my head i figured it doesn't really matter for me but if you do have a second adult sim here that could be a little bit of a problem if you have problems with the the shuffling sort of animation or whatever anyway um and then <laughs> the dresser i used from base game it's like this old sort of like disheveled um chest of drawers and i also use it in the kids room too because i'm thinking that grandma didn't necessarily go out and buy anything new for the kids apart from the bunk bed but that could have potentially been a bed from when her kids were growing up so like the when when the grandkids either moved in or come to visit they've inherited a bunk bed or they're in a new bunk bed i i didn't really give too much thought to it and the only reason i'm saying that is because it's the the brown swatch bunk bed from the base game and it's like the the brown checkered because i wanted it to fit in with the rest of the house and um, anyway grandma's room is pretty much done and then we do move on to the kids room here again difficult shape difficult size <laughs> and i was having some issues with lag in henford on bagley for some reason so if you saw me just very quickly access the main menu there that was to just sort of avoid the lag for some reason this is the only world that i have lag in when i'm building and it, and it's very few and far between like it doesn't happen at certain points it just sort of happens randomly and you've got to like just sort of deal with it so um normally i wouldn't access the main menu during a build but due to the lag unfortunately i had to <laughs> it's very very minor but i just thought i'd mention it anyway so yes the the, the sort of storyline sort, of, sort of continues on into this bedroom too so um grandma didn't necessarily go out and buy new items for the, the for this room and it's not because she didn't want to it's because she's very much a creature of habit and a very much a creature of look if i've got the items already then i don't need to be going out and buying new stuff <laughs> which is fair enough like fair enough i'd be the same so like um maybe she, she went out and bought a new mirror this lamp from um, the basement treasures kit i think it's called it's kind of off to one side and so she's probably found that somewhere she's thrown that in there and i just kind of like the story this is the bathroom i did include this footage because it's such a small build i was like i don't think it really matters whether i include it or not so i decided to just include it I hope you don't mind it's a really good size we do have a shower tub combination in here which is um super helpful when you've got especially child like either children or child sims <laughs> in the house um, and you've also got more than one sim living in the house so it just again depends on how you want to play it out and then we do move on to do some sort of landscaping and work on the back garden and this is sort of where we include like a seating area with a barbecue there's a swing set there's a couple of chairs under the tree for the kids to enjoy and then we just sort of finalize some of the landscaping pieces just around 
this area here but that's pretty much it for this video so i really hope you enjoyed it but if you would like to download this house it's available on the gallery right now my origin id is rachel pet tray files as always are linked down in the description below you can get them for free from sim file share but thank you so much everyone for joining me here today i can't wait to hear what you think of this build i'm super super proud of this <laughs> but you all take care and i will see you next time Bye.